Hey everyone, so the S550 GT350. From the factory, Ford engineered a lot of features and aspects in that car to make it a very track capable vehicle. Everything from the high revving flat plane crank engine, the large brakes, all the various coolers that were built into the car. They really thought of almost everything to make that car very both street capable and track capable. The problem is there's one aspect that every track car needs that they really forgot to put on the car from the factory, and that is an easily available tow hook. Now, Ford realized this mistake with the S550 GT500, and they built a tow hook that can be easily threaded into the front bumper from the factory. Unfortunately, with the 350, they never addressed that issue. Now, there are several aftermarket options available for that. There's various tow hooks available for the front bumper, for the rear bumper. So the problem is, since they're aftermarket, some of them do require permanent modification to be made to the vehicle for them to be able to fit. Some of them do not, but all of them pretty much require at least I would what I would consider to be an intermediate level of mechanical ability to install them. It's some some of them are somewhat involved. It involves taking the front fascia or sometimes rear fascia off of the vehicle to get them to fit, and it can be a installation that is uh, several hours long. So it's not just a quick, easy installation to be able to add a tow hook. And some owners are not interested in modifying their vehicles to make a tow hook fit it so the question is if you have a 350 and you need to tow it for whatever reason you're out maybe you're out on a drive you have some sort of mechanical failure or even something as simple as a flat tire how do you tow a gt350 because ford did not offer the 350 with a spare tire from the factory with some of the other mustangs it was an option but the 350 there is no spare there are aftermarket ones also available that you can get but they're a little on the pricey side depending on if you go that route. Now they do, if you get a minor flat tire that doesn't involve a large hole or a significant blowout, they put a tire inflator in the trunk, but it's basically a little air compressor that has a, a can of essentially fix a flat in it. And if you don't want to go that route or that's not something that would work depending on what your emergency or issue is, you kind of have to know how to actually tow the 350 and how you're going to need to do it if you have a, a roadside emergency. So if you have a GT350 supplement guide, there is a subsection on how to tow it in there. Uh, you can also go on the Ford website and download it if you don't have your supplement guide. The first thing is, unlike some of the other Mustangs, Ford specifically says you are only to tow a GT350 with a flatbed. You're not supposed to use one of the other style tow trucks or use some sort of dolly. It's flatbed only. It clearly says that in the owner's manual to only flatbed it. Now the question is how the heck without a tow hook do you get it up on a flatbed? So underneath the car there are two what they call oblong holes underneath it and you're supposed to use two mini J hooks from a towing bridle slash strap that go in and basically the strap forms like a Y and it will grab both of those oblong tow hooks onto the frame the subframe rails on each side and the single toe strap goes out the middle now when you're doing when you're hooking up a toe strap on a 350 you, you got to kind of be really careful especially with the 350rs with the, the larger front splitter because when you go to put it up onto a flat bed when it transitions it's going to want to push the bottom of the splitter up and you could potentially damage the underside of the splitter so if you go through that towing section, the manual, it has two recommendations. The first thing they say is you have a seven degree maximum incline to safely hoist the vehicle onto a flatbed. So your two main options are to use a some sort of ramp system that the tow truck would have to have. And they have to be at least 70 inches long to be able to get that seven degrees. They specifically mention race ramps in the owner's man supplement manual the other option is to use an eight foot long uh wooden ramp but they say specifically in the manual it should be two inches thick and eight feet long by eight inches wide to use if you don't have an available set of race ramps or any sort of longer ramp to get it onto the flatbed 
It also says in the manual that you're supposed to use the shipping blocks that the car came with, those little blocks that came in a bag that were on the, on the rear, it was on the shock absorbers, on the front, it was on the springs. Typically, a lot of those were thrown out by the dealer. If you bought a car that was at the dealer and it wasn't special ordered for you, they would often just throw those out. But you were actually supposed to hold on to those things should you have to tow it. I don't think that's as big of a deal if you need to tow it, but it's something good to have. And it also specifically says in the manual that when you're towing it, you're to use tire slings only to secure the vehicle to the flatbed to keep it from moving around. So you're not supposed to use some of the other methods they have. You're not supposed to necessarily leave it on that tow strap or use any other sort of bracing. Ford does offer a set of tow strap or tow points that you can add on to the vehicle to strap it down. But it also, just like the tow hook location, it doesn't have that from the factory. That's a simple bolt on. I've seen a lot of people do that modification. So if you're towing the vehicle a lot, like especially if you're trailering it a lot, that's not a bad addition to put onto the car. But because of the low ground clearance, you really, really want to be careful when you're hoisting this thing onto a flatbed. So uh, if you do ever have to tow it, definitely take a look in your owner's manual under the subsection of towing so you know exactly what needs to be done to avoid damaging your 350 should it need to be flatbed towed. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.